a common question amongst violinists or even beginner violinists for that matter, shoulder rest or no shoulder rest? As a violin pedagogue, I get this question many times and it's definitely case by case scenario. But today I wanna to talk about one shoulder rest in particular and that is the Kuhn shoulder rest. Hi there, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. Thanks so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed yet, I do vlogs, how-to tutorials, and product reviews like this one. And please be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications for future videos. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Kuhn shoulder rest right here. And what I like about this shoulder rest is that it's not a particularly expensive one and it's pretty much like, a, like an industry standard uh, for like a beginner violinist or someone who kind of wants an upgrade from a sponge um, and this is kind of like the next level shoulder rest that people usually go to after the sponge. So let's talk about this shoulder rest. Right now I'm holding uh, one of the smaller models of the shoulder rest which is a half violin size so a three quarter violin size. Also they make shoulder rest for violists and you could adjust the width of the shoulder rest according to how large your viola is. So something to consider if you're coming across this YouTube video. As I said, you can adjust the width of the shoulder rest on the coons. So it's very simple the way they do it. You can see that there are these screws right over here and you can take the screw out as so and you get something like this and you're able to take the entire leg out with the bracket and there's four different holes right over here and you let's say you're upgrading from a half size to a three quarter size violin and this is an easy solution you really don't have to purchase the full size violin coon rest just yet because you can take advantage of adjusting the size i've used coon for as long as i remember and i also have a coon bravo that i've used for many many years and really enjoy it uh, that is a, a wooden shoulder rest made out of wood. This is the, the original model, which is made out of plastic. The, I'm actually going to take out this leg over here. And something to know that if you're having any issues with the height of a shoulder rest, a simple tip, a little quick tip, is that you can adjust the height of the leg right over here. And Kuhn actually sells extra long legs if you have an extra long neck like I do. Although very, very rare for someone to even buy that. So this is the leg with the, with the rubber right over here. This is what it looks like. And you can see very closely that the rubber is on top of the plastic right over here. And it's very difficult to remove unless you've been using it for numerous years and you get a little bit of wear and tear on the leg and on the on the grip right over here you actually lose a little bit of grip and sometimes the the leg will actually slip off the violin if used for many many years so if that happens you could always order a new one i know there are violin shops around the world and around the country that actually sell these individual legs i don't think coon goes direct to consumer i think they give it to a violin shop and the violin shop is kind of like the middleman in distributing the the extra legs i'm actually going to adjust this right over here make sure i get it to the desirable height and there you go another nice thing about coon shoulder rests is that there's a little bit of a curvature that goes really nicely with the the contour of your shoulder so technically speaking you have the coon logo facing you if you're putting it on and it would lay on the violin as such and some people have different shoulders different widths of shoulder and sometimes their collarbones are really pronounced so it's uh really really comfortable the way that coon does their their foams are actually really really nice they're really durable. Again, like this is uh, a $22, $25 product. It's gonna last you closer to maybe less than 10, like seven years if you're using it every day. Um, I know that some violinist friends of mine, they actually complain about the, the foam being ripped off because you're, if you're in an orchestra, you put the shoulder rest on and, on and off and actually that the, the foam doesn't 
feel the same as if it was right out of the box when they first purchase it. So another cool thing is that they have the Kuhn logo. They make it very clear on the company you're buying from. And again, this is kind of like a 22 to $25 product. I totally recommend it. This video is not sponsored by Kuhn. Uh, just wanted to create this video uh, to provide some value for any beginners out there, for anyone who is in the market for a new shoulder rest, don't know where to look, and this is one way to go. So I recommend the Kuhn shoulder rest for all my beginner students. Um, if they're like maybe seven year old and up, uh, just because the I think the smallest model goes to like a quarter size and uh, you can't go any lower than that. But uh, yeah, really recommend this. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notifications, or I'm gonna be doing more product reviews, everything violin related. So uh, see you next time in the next video.